Hi Explorers and welcome back to the channel. The Forsaken Explorer NZ here. And I'm taking you here to an old workshop that's uh, now not being used due to earthquake damages. Probably may or may not get dem demolished, probably will with all the vandalism that's gone on. But there's some really cool old cars that maybe want to come and have a look. The building itself isn't too exciting, it's just an old workshop, but uh, let's get to it and have a look at the cool old cars. See if we're going to identify what they are, they're a bit older. Than what I would normally know with car knowledge, but let's get to a nibble look. Cheers. So we have the old cars here. Not 100% on what these are, like I do know, but I don't at the moment know what they are. But pretty cool. People have tagged them, people have vandalized them. It's even got an old seat in the back here where you can sit. There's some toilets and stuff back there. Bit of a hole up in the roof up there. So, another beautiful old car here. Really cool. And another here. It's got suicide doors on it where the door opens outwards this way. Really, really cool. I'm quite knowledgeable of cars, but getting back a bit early for me to, to know. It's really sad that people vandalise these cars. Someone's probably pride and joy back in the day. A bit of a, a seat in the, in the back there, and plenty of tagging around the place. Blacksmiths, well, it's engineering. Vice there, some stairs. The upstairs is, I would say, it's not safe to use. Roof caved in and the floor. Um, we've got some car chassis here, probably for the vehicles here, some chassis pretty cool and a bunch of other building stuff lots of tagging and stuff going on in here and the stairs up to the rotten floor the stairs look rotten the floor looks rotten do we even risk it rotten 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 do we even risk it we've got the stairs but I'm not going onto the floor because there ain't really a floor there oh, there is a bit Sort of get the gist of what's up there anyway, that's it. Broken skylight up there, but very tagged and vandalized and broken. And as I've said in many of my videos before, this is why I don't give out locations. A known location is a vandalized trash location just like this one. And in the area where I am, if you know where it is. Oh no, poor bird. Bird passed away. Um there's been lots of burnt down buildings and trash buildings and vandalised and fires and all sorts. It just goes to show what people do when they come into a abandoned building. What's this? Chili bin lid with some little frozen things for your lid to keep everything cold. There's freezer packs. May have been a superette back in the day, I believe. Yeah, roof's coming in here as well. Just as, but maybe in later years, the back half was used as a mechanic workshop or something. When you look at the bars on here, it's almost like they had all the signs in there saying how much stuff is for sale, like, you know, like BG shop or liquor shop. The bars on there. Uh, automatic door opener at some stage over here, you can see the motor, the automatic door opener up there. Uh, hinge door, oh it's also a hinge door, with hinges there, but it's on the brackets with the auto door, so you could hinge, use it as a hinge door or auto door depending on the weather, which is really cool. Good ceiling height in here with I-beams, holding up the ceiling in here, and um, should probably get over and have a look at the reasonably good graffiti art in here. Not that I'm overly keen on that sort of thing. Is that because people like me a bad name when people class graffiti art as vandalism? 
Um, some of it's really well done, you know, but it's still classed as vandalism. Even though it's probably some people appreciate how cool it looks in an abandoned building, it's still vandalism. You know, especially this nice old car. It could be restored, vandalised, with tagging and the windscreen. This windscreen's not been broken, which is really cool. The other ones are all bust. Um, the front ones that are, the back one's intact. On that one, someone's been on the piss with their smearing off. And uh, someone's been having some cones. So some plumbing sets in here, and it makes me wonder even if it was this back half here was some sort of workshop. Like plumbing, if it had a front half, back half scenario, I'm, I'm not too sure. These are seats actually from the car. Um, but anyway, there isn't too much for me to show you guys in here, so we better just wrap up another video. Well, explorers, that's all there is to see here today at this abandoned old shop, workshop of some description. If you do like this video, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, push the bell and notification button, and remember to comment down below. We will catch you on another explore. Seek an explorer over and out.